girl, where'd you get those nails? Oh, wait, those are hot dogs. Why do we have to start off with such an uncomfortable photo? This is so weird. Like, who goes and buys hot dogs with nails on them? I do realize that somebody bought hot dogs and then put the nails on them after. I don't know what's more uncomfortable. The idea of this picture, the fact that it actually looks better than my fingers. Yeah, sausage hands over here looks better than than my real fingers. Great. Oh no, you know why this makes me so uncomfortable? It's not even the fact that somebody put beans into a shoe. It's the fact that the beans are coming out of the little holes and they look disgusting. They look like little wormies. You get what I'm saying, guys? If you're not feeling uncomfortable, then I don't know what to tell you. You got some type of magic powers because I'm I'm just cringing so Oh much. And how did, why did you run out of bowls? This is served somewhere. Is this in public? Who does this? I just googled what owls look like without feathers and I'm severely shocked. What? It's not what I expected. You expect the feathers to be like its bone structure, but it's all like poofy and round and cute. And now it, it looks like, uh, like some type of monster out of a horror movie. This is terrifying. Also, like, why would you google that? Like, you're asking for it. Why would you e never Google things like that ever? Because this is what happens. You find terrifying, terrifying things. This is not how you sing or perform or rap or whatever you're doing. Like you're, the mic is literally in your mouth. It's inside your mouth. I, I hope that you brought that mic yourself because if you didn't, then I feel really bad for all the people going after you because look, let me explain to you. Look at all the little holes in the mic. All his spit is going inside there and like they can't clean that properly. This is disgusting. I don't like it. It needs to go away. Okay? Okay. Is this for like parents who hate their kids? It's like, I don't I don't understand. Is this a joke? This has to be a joke. The fall, it is too big. This makes me feel really uncomfortable because I'm like, what if somebody didn't look and they're like, oh, this is a playground climb up and then they go to the side and they're like oh shit i mean the good thing about these slides is that like you don't go very fast like you could catch yourself and climb back up if you really needed to but still i don't like it let's let's move that now we gotta get people on this move the playground oh no who did this this is not how you eat gum because now i am just imagining the the, the feeling of the tinfoil rubbing against their teeth as they bit down on the gum. And now you guys are imagining too, and you guys are all cringing and like, oh, it's like the nails on the chalkboard thing, you know, but it's, but it's tinfoil on your teeth. He doesn't use coasters either. This is bothering me too. This is bothering me more, but this is just like adding to the fire. I don't like this person already. I'll give them another chance though. Gum and no coaster is like pushy it though. I thought my phone was bad and it's pretty bad, but this is just giving me anxiety. I don't know if it's because there's so many folders and you're like, what, where are all the notifications coming from? Is this just, there's too much happening. How many apps does this person have? And you, you, you think that they're organized because of all the folders, but no. This is just a disaster. Somebody call the app police. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? This is really like you're pushing your luck. Like that's not a cup holder. I don't know what it is, but it's not a cup holder. The cup hol holders, they hold the cups this way, not this way. One sudden move, that lid's gonna fly off. You're gonna have coke all over your pants, all over your shoes, all over your car. Everything is gonna be sticky for days. Like, it's not like you're spilling water where it just evaporates. No, this is coke. It's loaded with sugar. You're gonna be sticky for days. Okay, this is cheesy, but it's pretty funny at the same time. I'm not hating on this that bad. I'm not hating too much. Also, her legs are very long. Her leg to body ratio are very long. I'm, I, I'm not hating, it's a good thing. I, I mean, it's not a bad thing if it's not. I'm just saying like, damn girl, give me some of that leg length. I love ketchup, but there is a line and you don't put ketchup on watermelon. Oh, okay, fine. I have never tried it, but I really don't want to. Like very rarely do I look at food and go, I don't want to try that. Like really, like you can show me some like really weird mixes of food and I'm like, I'm down. Okay, I didn't even read the caption. It says, who said vegan food had to be boring? It's not boring. There's a lot of amazing vegan food, actually. I'm not vegan, but I love vegan food. Some places don't know what they're doing. I'm not gonna lie, but there's some like badass vegan restaurants, like especially in Toronto, because that's where I've tried the most of it. It's like, you're like, you wouldn't even know that it was vegan. You're just like, how did they make it taste so delicious? So, so I guess my point is, uh, don't knock it until you try it. Except don't try, don't try watermelon and ketchup. That's just weird. Is this even ketchup or is that barbecue sauce? Now, now I don't even know what it is. 
But either way, I'm not I'm not digging it. When it's your birth and you get a chair instead of cake. So you make cake out of the chair. The thing that's making me uncomfortable is that the slice of cake actually looks delicious. But now I'm admitting to the fact that I think chair is delicious. Which means I'm gonna end up on one of those shows, My Strange Addiction. Don't worry guys, I don't eat chairs, okay? I don't I don't think so. No, I don't eat chairs. Oh no, okay, this is terrifying. Because they, they tried to make Justin Bieber's face out of meat. And you know what it looks like? It looks like this is what his face would look like if his skin was peeled up, and that's why it's terrifying. At least that's why it's uncomfortable for me. That's why this is making me cringe. You guys might have other reasons. Maybe you guys just don't want to eat Justin Bieber's face. Maybe you do want to eat his face. Wait, I just realized I could have a double meaning. You know what I mean, okay? We're talking about this meat loaf thing, whatever. Who would even need that much meat? I... Okay, I can't even look at this anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna puke, okay? Bye. Anybody who has a uh, trypophobia, you will hate this. It's like the fear of like all these little things close to each other. I like, I think I mildly have it. Like it bothers me a little, like I'm not dying, but I'm bothered. Oh no, guys, it's so big. Do you guys see it? It's, it, this is the biggest worm ever. I don't, nope. Nope, I've never liked worms. I especially hate maggots. I got a story. Story time. We're gonna we're gonna take a little interruption for story time. I had this roommate back in the day when I was in university and she sucked, but that's besides the point. So she went away for a while and left a bag of potatoes under the sink. I didn't know there was a bag of potatoes under the sink, but she left it under the sink for like two months. And I don't know how long it was there before. And I'm starting to smell this like horrible smell, and I'm like, what is coming? Where is this smell coming from? I don't know where it's coming from because I didn't know there was a bag of potatoes under the sink. And then I find out where the smell's coming from. And I lift up the bag, because I, I didn't I didn't know it'd be that moldy. I went to lift it up to throw it away. And everything on the bottom, I guess because it had gotten soggy, falls out of the bag, okay? And it is the most disgusting, rotted potatoes with maggots all over them. Dropped everything. I ran to the other side of the room and started crying and screaming because I was terrified. I called one of my friends and I'm like, you need to come over right now and help me clean up potatoes. I was terrified. I was so scared. And then he came over and he helped me clean up the potatoes. Good friend. Uh, yeah, so that happened. I'm still traumatized. And since then, I, I just hate anything worm-like, you know? Just, mm, mm, you just stay over there in that picture and, and don't, don't bother me, okay? Okay, who cuts bread like this? It's so, like, it's supposed to be cut like this. Now, instead of getting, let's say, 20 slices, you're getting 10? Less, maybe? I don't, I'm too lazy to count, but I, I know it's less. And also, now you're gonna make really big sandwiches. Unless that's kind of like what this person was going for. They just wanted to have a few big sandwiches, then whatever, but... I'd rather have like a lot of little sandwiches than like a few big ones. Oh no, swapped him back, swapped him back now. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. That makes me so uncomfortable. Oh no, so now think about this guys. This person was drinking a cup of coffee, okay? And they get to the bottom and realize this s s spider so big is on the bottom of its cup. And he's been drinking spider coffee all morning. Okay, first what you do is you puke. And then you throw out the cup, you burn the garbage can, burn the whole house, and then you, you run away forever. Because that thing is huge! What's up with this? Why you gotta put beans in a clock? Excuse me, sir, what time it is? It's bean 45. Where have you been? You're five minutes late. Okay, I'll stop. But seriously, this is really making me really uncomfortable. Why would anyone do this? You can't tell around here when it, the time is over here. It's just a guessing game. You don't know what time it really is. Also, like this hand has to swim through beat. I can't, I can't, sorry. And the thought of that going bad in there, uh, and it's leaking too. When you are what you eat, that's why you only gotta eat chicken nuggets. <laughs> no, but seriously, this is creepy. This person made a mask out of a watermelon. Like, I appreciate the, the level of detail and the art that went behind it, but it's also really creepy because their eyes just look like big black holes. And I'm... Also, this clothes rack is terrifying. It looks like a person. If I lived there, I would be like... <gasps> Every day. Also would never live with this person because no. This doesn't make me feel uncomfortable. It actually looks great. Like I just want to touch that silky smooth watermelon. Just like, you know. Hello watermelon. Who is spraying ketchup like this like a savage? I once went to a restaurant and their ketchup bottle they gave me was like this. And I'm like, what does that matter with you guys? First of all, how does this even get to this point? You know, how? what do you do that the ketchup gets all over the lid like that? And if it does, 
why don't you clean it? I know, sounds crazy, right? Cleaning something that you make a mess of? Especially if you work at that restaurant? Hmm. Okay, there's a spider in this person's earbuds. No, like not earbuds, earphones. Imagine you didn't notice and you put them on and it crawled into your ear. Oh no. Do they actually do that? I, th I think there's been some cases. I don't know how rare it is, but I don't want to take any chances. I don't want anything in my ear that's not supposed to be in my ear. Thank you very much. Why would you do that? It's clearly a strip. And also, who needs this much gum anyways? Like, imagine trying to chew that much gum. You'd be like, <gasps> you'd be chewing forever. Your jaw would start hurting. Oh, no, my jaw already hurts thinking of it. Okay, everybody take a second to, to massage your jaws. Give your jaws some love. Oh yeah, oh that feels good. Okay, this is uh, disgusting. Even though this toilet is probably clean, has never been used, I'm still not okay with it. I don't wanna drink out of a toilet. Oh wait, they poured it themselves out of the Slurpee? Oh, who raised you? That's why they call it candy corn? I didn't know if you put them together, you could make a corn. I need to try this now. I honestly hate this candy. I don't know why, I'm just not feeling it. I've never liked it. I just don't think it got anything, any special taste going to it, you know? It just tastes like weird sugar. But now I just need to buy some so that I can make corn out of it because I'm amazed. I don't know why this picture supposed to make you uncomfortable, but uh, I don't know. Okay, who keeps cutting pie like they're working on algebra homework? Who does this thing? I need to have a word with you. The reason this is upsetting is because everybody else trying to get a slice, their slice is gonna be messed up. Like what about this person? They get a weird slice. I see what you did there. You didn't want any crust, but that's selfish, okay? Everybody's gotta get a little bit of crust. <laughs> I can't even look. My my heart, it hurts. It, I did the same thing to two of my nails, actually. This is why I can't have nice things. This is giving me bad mouth feelings. Like, my mouth feels all soapy now. And Guys, there's no such thing as shower candy, okay? Do not eat the soap. That that goes places you don't, you don't want to know where that goes. Okay, okay. What type of cold-blooded monsters would do this? You think you're getting some Krispy Kreme donuts and you open it up and there's a vegetable tray inside of it. It's just rude because you're expecting sweet and you're getting not sweet. Vegetables are good for you, but this is just... This is deceitful? Just because you saw one orange leaf on the ground does not mean you have creative license to ruin all things good in this world. I, you know what? I was gonna say I'm curious, but I'm not. I'd rather not try this. This person make candy corn pizza. Somebody's like, what is this? Somebody else is like, sin. I mean, it looks cool. I'll give it to him. This looks cool. I just don't like candy. If I, if it was a candy I liked, I might try it. When you see somebody clip a toenail, it goes flying across the room, but they don't pick it up. Oh, do that at home. Why are you clipping your nails in public? That's just, dis you disgusting. Well, there you have it, guys. I hope this video didn't make you too uncomfortable. Did, did that just make you uncomfortable? How I just paused. Anyways, I don't even know what to say now because I, I feel a little uncomfortable. Okay, okay, get over it, get over it. I love you all so much. Don't forget to stay awesome, stay cute, stay cool, and be nice to each other, most importantly, okay? Bye!